Hello, and welcome back to Dishonored Death of the Outsider. We've got a bank job. You ready for a bank job? It's gonna be great. Uh, epic bank heists? Well, you're gonna have to wait because first we have to read uh, the travel walk. That's what we do. But the bank job. Breaking apart. The outsider. The fucking outsider himself on my ship. Like he'd been waiting for me. Now I'm writing this down with half a hand and an eye that will never shut again. I can't touch them without shuddering. Feels just like the dreams. What did he see? Everything? If the Abbey's right. He has to know what Dowd and I are planning. Why tear half of me away? The eyeless kill over scraps of magic and now I can see where the world is cracking like a mirror. I didn't want any of this. Does the outsider always talk like that? Cryptic little shit. No wonder Dowd hates him. Yeah, he could be cryptic. Many eyes. Dowd used to say that everything in Dunwall was tangled together. That nothing was a coincidence. Well, it's true. For Karnaka, too. The Eyeless might seem like a bunch of thugs trading bloody bones and foul recipes, but their coin flows from a richer vein. I found two of their leaders. Shan Yun, the Tivian songbird, and Ivan Jacoby, a city administrator. They have the knife that killed the outsider, and they're keeping it hidden away behind closed doors. And they're keeping it hidden away behind lies and locked doors. But now I have their keys, and somewhere in Dolores Michael's bank is a lock that needs turning. I won't let the Eyeless stay hidden anymore. Not myself. I see shadows everywhere this dead eye looks, and my right arm twitches and blurs as if it'll start moving on its own. These things aren't a part of me. I can't escape them. The outsider changed me into something I still don't understand. In Dunwall, Dowd taught me that no one was innocent and gave me the means to judge them. Does the outsider expect me to look down at him like I can look down at Karnaka and hold his life in this broken hand? Does he want to see me carve up this city to find him? I know he's watching. Well, I'm staring right back. Definitely sounds like Billy isn't going to take any of it. Deidre once again. Didn't we already read this? I don't know if I've read this. No, I haven't. I kept the rat charm close last night when I tried to sleep, hoping for more than darkness in my dreams. And just for a moment, she was with me in the cold. Deirdre, that same sweet face I always knew. She touched my right hand and it twitched like it was dying, like I couldn't control it. I wanted to hide it from her. She didn't need to see what I had become, but her eyes were dark and she wouldn't look away. Then she reached out and took my other hand, one that was all flesh and kissed my fingertips like she used to. I could have cried. It felt so real. She came close and whispered something in my ear. I felt her breath on my neck, felt her cold palm on my cheek. But I can't remember what she said. It was like trying to hear a voice whispering across the water. Outsider's blood. I'd give anything to know what she said. I'm going to lose everything again. I can feel it. Again, that might be a portion of her dear soul. Her dear Deidre. Deidre's soul. Um, but why would she bind her own soul to that? Maybe she knew she was going to die? I don't know. Maybe she just didn't want to lose her. Lose Billy. Can't sleep. Well, you just said as much. I don't know what else the outsider did to me, but the dreams changed the day he took my arm and eye away. Maybe he sent those nightmares to start with. I don't know. But now they're all nothing but black 
ringing with whispers in some language I can't understand. I'll wake up staring at my dead arm, half in this world and half in the void, the sound still echoing between my ears. That's still better than the nights when I can't sleep at all. Every shadow, every twitch of movement, every breath, and this black eye catches it and keeps me awake. I can't shut it out, and this arm lying with every move it makes. These things aren't a part of me. Are they a part of him? Who would want to see through the outsider's eyes? Again, I don't know. Maybe he wants us to see something. He wants something. That's for damn sure. The Lonely Rat Boy and Other Tales. I wonder if this is a new one every single day. I don't know. He had never learned love, only fear. Love was a phantom. A press of a gentle hand against his cheek that had long since lost its warmth. But his wounds were opened afresh each day. He had nothing but the white rat who stayed even when the world had abandoned him. The ones who had hurt him were within his sight. The boy curled his hands into fists, his nails bit into his palms. The outsider's mark seared his skin as he raised its magic. Rats toiled up from black smoke, writhing and squealing in their conjured frenzy. Hundreds of eyes, dozens of noses, and innumerable rows of teeth. It was as if they had clawed up from the darkness of the boy's own heart. What was dull now erupted into color. Blood spilled out and soon blue and purple viscera, yellow, fat. The hard white of their bones as the vermin bit down into their victims, screams slipped away to gurgled pleading, then silence. His tormentors were strewn across the dirty cobbles. Two rats fought over a piece of bloody flesh. The boy reached out to stroke one, and the creature turned and sank its grinning jaws into his hand. Again, I'm wondering if this is Dowd. Who knows? Speaking of, let's go talk to him about the job. Dowd? You upstairs? I'm gonna reach a turtle. She's done good work. I knew she would. Still, I know she has doubts. I asked her to do something that would terrify most. I don't blame her for questioning me. I won't live to kill the outsider myself. He knows that, and so does she. Her face is lined with fear, guilt, and that eye, always staring. I don't know what she'll have to confront in the void, but she's prepared. Will the outsider cower like all the people I killed, or will he know that he deserves what's coming, just as I do? I don't know what he thinks. He's talking to Billy now, not me. Sometimes I worry that all I did was burden her with my grudges, but I know she has her own reasons for seeing this through. She wouldn't be doing this if she didn't. I know you're reading this, Billy. I can never keep much hidden from you. You know I've never been a sentimental man. I couldn't be. But you never let go of things that made you feel whole. And that's just another way you're better than I ever was. There are some things we can't say out loud. So I'll write this one. Whatever you do next, I'm proud of you. Remember that. Well, damn. So even if I choose to kill him, he's proud of me. I'm not going to. She can see it all. Void breaking and spreading their own cracks, like sea or sinking old ship. Do you want me to repair it, or do I need to get rid of your link to this world in order for the cracks to never appear again? Maybe the outsider wants to die. The Knife of Dunwall. Uh, did we read that? Yeah, we already read that. A drawer. Hey, am I going to actually have some darkness this time? Hey, Dad. Alright. I'm not going to climb the mast again. I'll look up here. Wait, that's all I'll do. It's time. Nothing, nothing. Soon, you'll have the knife that can end him. It didn't kill him before. 
It made him into a god. Then it can unmake him. The void is dragging me away. I felt it a little more every day since you got me out of that club. I won't be here much longer. Let's go over the plan when you're ready. So he's slowly slipping away. Well, to be fair, the void isn't really powering him as much as it used to be. I can't look at any of this. Can I talk to him before I do this? I the guess bank is owned and managed or. by Dolores Michaels. I've cased the place and talked to some people, and there are a few ways inside. Others have tried and failed to rob it before. They didn't have the focus we do. We're not after coin. How do you plan to get inside? There are three possible ways. The roof, the trash disposal, and the sewers. All of them might work. Once I'm in, I need to find the vault. The knife must be in there. The security in the bank will be high. What have you learned? Not much. Guards, clockwork soldiers, and a lot of locked doors that can only be opened remotely. And that's all before I'd reach the vault itself. There's an intake port on the roof that leads to the bank's ventilation system. If you find enough laudanum, most of the bank's security will be dazed before you even get inside. There was a pharmacy hmm. in the district, but it's been seized by the bank. <laughs> I'll see what I can find. I know how resourceful you can be. These keys you found with the eyeless leaders will lead you to whatever holds the knife. You'll also need the bank manager's key. Deal with her how you see fit. Then I'm ready. Good. I... <clears throat> <coughs> do you want me to stay? No. There's nothing you can do for me here. Go get the knife. Kill the outsider. I trust you to finish this. I will, Dowd. One way or another. <sighs> You've right. seen more than most. What we did years ago. The witches who tried to take the throne. The eyeless. Keeping me in that pit. But I've been to the void, Billy. All the bitterness, hatred, and fear. And the outsider gets to choose who wields his black magic and who cowers in the dark. That's something no one should decide. Do you really think he's to blame for all of that? For what we all did? The outsider gave me his mark, knowing what I could do with that kind of power. For years, I carved up Dunwall from the inside until it fell apart. The world doesn't need more men like me. So it doesn't matter if he made him do it or not. What matters is it can't be done again. Because whether his decisions were his own, he had the power to make those decisions. And we can't have that power anymore. Especially from a little boy who was killed against his will to become a god. The bank will be difficult. But I know you've walked out of worse. All right. Dolores Michaels, cultist and creditor. The cultist wealthiest creditor. people in Karnaka trust her with their fortunes. If word gets out that someone broke into her vault, she'll be ruined. What a shame. I would be so sad if that happened to somebody. I bribed someone to slip me schematics for the vault mechanism. It's some kind of fancy elevator. A Jindosh creation, as always. A control room can move the vault into two places. The basement where they keep the safety deposit boxes, the... and the manager's office. Jindosh mansion, may have been yeah. a genius, but his inventions are more fragile than they look. Very much so. There's an old sewer under the bank. I wonder what the former grand inventor would think if he knew his precious vault had crashed down into it. <laughs> yeah. Changing bank codes. Got your message, but I couldn't help you. The bank's security is an insult to hardworking robbers. They use some sort of public announcement system there. You gotta have the right code to get past checkpoints. But the thing is, the codes change with every guard shift. No point in my making a list. It'd be useless by the time you got it. You're on your own with this one. Good luck. The guards use authorization codes over a public announcement system to issue orders but it changes every shift. There's no way to find them out without going in. Those codes will be useful to reach the most sensitive parts of the bank. I know you'll be able to find them one way or another. 